Alrighty, so hey guys, one sec. Okay. Um, it is Wednesday, and I am relaxing at my house. I am watching the UFC, uh, and I wanted to talk about sports. I really loved everybody's videos last week, by the way, about their best informative years. I really liked that. And, uh, yeah, so I wanted to talk about this, uh, this Penn State debacle that's been going on and why it happened um, and why sports is partly to blame for why it happened and why it's not necessarily sports fault okay so for those of you who don't know Jerry Sandusky was an offense or defensive coordinator for 32 years for the Penn State Nittany Lions football team uh, he is now on trial for molesting and raping 20 different boys or almost 20 I think it's like 18 Took him 17 seconds to answer the question posed by Bob Costas, are you sexually attracted to young boys? And it took, him, it took him 17 seconds to answer that. If you're innocent, it doesn't take you 17 seconds to say no. Okay? Just throwing that out there. So, he is on trial for this. He was high, he was under the tutelage of Joe Paterno. Spent 46 years coaching at Penn State, 60 years on the staff at Penn State. And when one of Joe Paterno's other coaches, I think it was his receivers coach, Mike McQueary, saw Jerry Sandusky raping a boy in the shower, he didn't call the cops, he didn't stop the act. He instead went to Joe Paterno the next day and said, I saw this, there was this, that, and the other, there was definitely sexual intent behind it. Um, and Joe Paterno went from there to the board of trustees instead of to the police, instead of to Sandusky, to whatever's going on. He went to the board of trustees, board of trustees hit him. Here's why. The board of trustees and the AD and the president and the vice president of Penn State, as well as the district attorney, the attorney general, the everybody, all the way up to, I, I think even the mayor knew about it. The janitor sure, certainly did, because one of them also had witnessed one of the acts. So, <laughs> basically what Penn State had done is they took the value of sports and put it so much higher than the value of little kids. Value of the well-being of the little kids' safety and uh, how they're going to live during these formative years. So, with that in mind, why have sports if sports was the main cause of this? They did this. They hid the whole Jerry Sandusky thing to preserve their program. Well, here's the thing. Sports have a value in society. Okay, it's really hard to deny that. Mark Dice may try to tell you differently, but sports do have a value within society. But sports only have a value insofar as the value that is prescribed to them by the individuals within that society. So like Oregon has a pretty low value on sports because they don't have many sports teams. They'd rather spend their money elsewhere. Fine, no problem. They have some downsides to that, like you don't get many tourist things. It's not a good. You don't get to bring in that revenue. Those are some downsides to it, but it's overall not terrible. Okay. When you put too high of a value on sports in society, you get the Jerry Sandusky scandal, because now you're you have to draw a line as to what is more important to you. The uh, millions of dollars that come in in revenue because of the program that exists at your school or the welfare of that 13 year old boy that's getting raped in the shower and to any normal person even to all the students at Penn State it is the kid but to the people who ran Penn State it was the program the millions of dollars, the everything that that our 
uh, that our team does for this school and for this community and for this state. And to be honest, it does do a lot. There's a lot of charity work done by Penn State, especially by Joe Paterno. But it's still an incredibly corrupt system. You know, Al Capone gave a million dollars to an orphan. It doesn't change the fact that he was still a mobster. That he was still breaking the law during that time. That's still a problem. <laughs> so, I mean, just because you did good things doesn't mean the bad things go away. But just because you did bad things doesn't mean the good things disappear. All right, and the value within the the value that sports brings to society is usually good, but in this case, it is not, and that sucks. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to say that, and and how I definitely would blame, I definitely would say sports is part of the reason, but I would blame Penn State for the whole thing. It's not sports' fault that people place too much value on it within their society, and people need to understand that. Because if you don't, and you're going to end up going, well, look at what sports has done to these people. We really need to get rid of sports in this town. And while I agree, and this is why I agree that they need to cancel their season. They need to forfeit the rest of their games for this year. And the reason they need to do that is because they obviously can't put a correct value on sports within their society. So they need to reassess things. They need to start putting these kids first as opposed to putting their program first, which is what they haven't done, which they really need to do. But that's it for me. I gotta go. I'm sorry that this has been kind of depressing and that it's been almost seven minutes long, but I really want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. If you don't know anything about it, just Google it. P-E-N-N -N State Scandal. You'll get everything you need to know. I mean, heck, you probably won't even have to type in pen before everything will show up for you. Okay? So, just... Go ahead and Google it and then come back to me and tell me what you think about the whole ordeal. Who do you think is really to blame here? Uh, would you blame the AD the most or would you blame Paterno the most or would you blame uh, McQuery uh, the most, Mike McQuery? I personally blame him a whole lot more than most people do because you know what? I don't care how like emotionally scarred you are about it now. I blame you and the janitor because you two saw what was going on and you – both didn't do anything. Both of you pretty much kept quiet about it. You call the cops. I don't care what your obligation is to your school. If that's happening, you don't leave that alone. But anyway, all right, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, Alrighty. So, yeah, okay. Bye. I'll see you at least tomorrow.